This is the 2300 Arena, the new home of the brand new Sky High. I'm your one man color commentator, Linnaeus Peachers. We're live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and we're getting set for another jam packed show, ladies and gentlemen. Are you excited? Oh, I know you're excited. I know I'm excited. I know the fans are excited. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful night with one last Sky High show to go before our very first Sky High Invasion pay-per-view. We are going to witness a lot of stuff tonight, including what is going to be a fantastic main event. Because for the first time ever on Sky High, since turning on his former best friend Justin White, Rex Jarvis will finally make his in-ring return to Sky High as he takes on the one, the only, the time splitter, Kush Dina, before his match against one, before his match against Hiromu Takahashi for the junior heavyweight title. Rex Jarvis will go one-on-one -on -one with another Japanese professional wrestler. Again, in the main event of Sky High, that's right. We are kicking things off with the second triple threat match with three men representing the three teams that will be participating in the first TLC ladder match. Yep, TLC ladder match. An invasion. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 201 pounds, one half of the junior, Chase D. Neal. Here comes the next participant. He's the high flying Michigan Marvel. And his opponent, first. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 163 pounds, Alex Kidman. He's representing the Super Rex. The final participant representing the Lucha Bros. Former Lucha Underground Triple Crown Champion. And from Mexico City, weighing in at 171 pounds. Ray Fenwick. Action. First man to get that pinfall of submission victory in the ring will win. The chase and they'll lighten up Ray Phoenix. Whoa! Oh god, man! Oh! Uh oh. Nice one, shot by. Oh! Oh, the, oh, the Spanish! No, give it. Oh, the cannonball in the corner. Rising him up for that Enziguri. There it is! Can Kevin get that quick will? Oh no, not another one! Another spin! The power of money! Oh, the end of the He's looking for Priceless! Oh, oh! Oh no, 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 no! No Priceless! Oh, oh no, no, no! Oh, oh, back and forth! I love it! Oh god, from behind! Ray Phoenix from behind! Dropping De Niro on his back! Kidman now! Looking for the Shinoroni! Oh! <laughs> Chase is down! Phoenix is down! Kim has got the... Oh! Uh, uh. Oh! Uh. Whoa! God, what's happening? Whoa! Handspring cutter, dudes! That was brilliant! Phoenix has got the cover! He... Oh! Fuck the both of you. What happened? I don't understand what just happened. But Ray Phoenix is taking full advantage of, of what just happened. Oh, and that's... Kidman is down, trying to catch his bearings. Oh, look out! Oh! Look at Phoenix! Dropping Kidman! This time the cover! Confused referee over here. Kid, oh, I mean, Phoenix, Phoenix wins. What a match. Dare I say, that triple threat was probably better than the Here other one. your winner, Ray Fenwick. Now Ray Phoenix coming into the match. The Lucha Bros and SMS have momentum. They're, they're on momentum for the champions. I'm very much looking forward to this match. Here he comes, the 
Japanese sensation Hideo Itami. Have a match against Sakamoto at Sky High Invasion, which should be match of the year in SCW. What's this got to say? Tommy says he's gonna beat Sakamoto. That's all there is to it. Here we go, Kushida and Rex. Oh, look, it's the champion. Hiromu is here, and he's here to cheer on Kushida. I had a feeling Hiromu Takahashi would come out here. Champion just trying to get, just trying to scout Rex before their match for the main event. Had a CW, uh, or Sky High Invasion. Oh, he just smacked Kushida square in the face, bro. The disrespect. These two guys are very gifted technical wrestlers. Rex Jarvis has honed his craft. Both these guys are not only gifted technical wrestlers, but they got a mixed martial arts background as well. Through out of there. Now Rex has the headlock. He's got the arm again. He's got Kushida where he wants him. As he just drops the former six time or five time, one or the other, IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Nice smart here. Oh, he faked him out there. Oh! Uh oh. He's sweet. Okay, now Rex coming in. And now Rex has Kushida where he wants him. Kushida can't get his hands up. Jesus, Rex just beat you down from the ground, man. Look at him go. That's why he's the number one contender. Oh! Oh, big, big back elbow. And a clothesline! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God, what's he doing? What's he doing here? Oh, the back suplex in, into the power bomb. Oh, my God. Back to the future. There it is! He got him, dudes! He got him! Oh! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Ankle lock by Kushida. Is Rex gonna tap out tonight? Whoa! Rolling through. Oh! Damn! What a knee! Oh, and drops Kushida on his face! She does in trouble here. The Rex Jarvis. Oh my god. Oh my good god, dude. Rex gotta turn around here. Oh! Oh, he got caught! This time Kushida saw that knee coming! Kushida saw it coming! Another ankle lock! Oh, but the Rex immediately reaching the ropes. And Rex all oh, rolling to the outside. That's so smart. Oh! Well, Rex tried to take advantage, he did. Through. Did Rex Jarvis? Oh man. Sunset flip into the power bomb. And look at Hiromu. Hiromu. Oh no. She's a, oh. Oh no. She's a, oh. oh no. Oh no. Oh god. So many things are happening. Oh, look at this. Cover. Yes! Two! Oh no, the foot's on the 
rope. The, the Kushida put his foot on the rope. Kushida definitely put his foot on the rope. Did you guys see something? I, I saw Kushida put his foot on the rope. I saw that. I did. What happened? Oh! Oh, the referee fell down. The referee fell down. The referee got, got I think he got need in the process here. Kushida's got an ankle lock on him. And Kushida, Rex is tapping, but the referee doesn't see it. The referee didn't see it. He, he should have, Kushida should have won this match. But Kushida ain't gonna give up on you. He is going to continue this onslaught until he wins this match. Kushida there, oh. Oh, Rex. Oh, God. Wow, what a move. Oh, oh God. Kushida kick. Oh. oh, he's going for the super kick there. Look out here. Oh, Kushida dodging it. Oh, Kushida. Oh. oh, so much happening. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, super kick. And there's another one. No, never mind. Oh, oh. looking for the back of the future. He got him! He got him! Kushida! Kushida! Oh, no! Kushida now, he's looking to fly here. There we go! Oh, no! Now look at Rex here, sizing him up! And now Rex. My God, what a move, Salt dudes. And that'll do it. Here is your winner, the specialist, Rex Jarrett. Damn. Back here live in the 2300 Arena in, in Sky High. And we're getting set for a face-to-face -face confrontation between uh, the, uh, the two remaining members of the Lucha Force and the backstabber of the Lucha Force, and, and Antonio Hernandez. Why did the bell ring? This is not a match. This is a face-to-face -face confrontation. Will we get physical? I don't know if they're going to get physical. And they're maybe going to do a little bit of talking. Maybe they're going to do a little bit of arguing. I don't, I don't know. I, I hope... We don't come to terms here where Antonio Hernandez, Criante Santos, and Espiga Blanca start punching each other because Antonio Hernandez still hasn't really explained himself why he stabbed him in the back. I mean, sure, Santos and Blanca were getting, you know, more attention from the fans and they even won championships before Hernandez did. He doesn't even come out to any music. But the spotlight is on him. Are they gonna show up though? Is the Lucha Force gonna show up? Oh! Oh, they're here! They are here! Espiga Blanca and Criente Santos. The former junior heavyweight tag team champions making their way to the ring and look at they do not look happy. They are all serious tonight. I mean, they're serious when they get in the ring, you know, in the matches and stuff. But um, oh no, man, they there's no uh, there's no smiles from them tonight. Look at these guys. Nobody's moving. Are they gonna? Oh, oh, they're they're making their way to the ring. Oh, they're they're on the apron. Who's, who's gonna blink first? Santos is in the ring. Santos is in the ring. God, I don't know what's gonna happen. He's pointing at him. Oh God! The big boot to the face, and I think that just spelled the answer for the Lucha Force. And now Espiga Blanca is in the ring, and here he comes, raining down with the fist, the forearm strikes, the the, the fist, the fury of this little Luchador. Oh! 
Fucking kicked him like a little fly or something. And now Criante Santos. The veteran. Here he comes. Oh, no! That's not the type of flying he wanted to do tonight. And now Antonio Hernandez going at it with the right hands now. Criante Santos getting his ass beat. Oh, man. Dropping the leg drop. Antonio Hernandez felt a little bit of pain in there, but it's okay, according to him. You can just see the anger in those in those right hands. You can see the emotion from in the moves. Well, Speak of Blanca tried to stuff him, but it doesn't matter. And now, here comes the white spike. Raining down. Fist, and now a kick to the leg. It, it, oh! Oh, no! Before Santos could get a word out of there, he got clothesline for his troubles, but Espiga Blanca continues to fight. Look at that. Oh! He just chopped him on the chest there. And now Criante Santos back in the fray. You know the Lucha Force is going to fight. You know they're going to fight. They're done talking. Another big boot to the face. Everybody. Oh, God! He just dropped Antonio Hernandez. Everybody's done talking. Everybody's going to fight. The fans love it. They want. They, I'm sure they want answers too. I want answers. I'm a journalist. I need them. I crave the answers. Oh God! Look at this. Look how. Look how Crente Sanchez just throws himself in front of Espiga Blanca. The left hand there. Another. Never mind. No. Never mind. He got him with the right. Oh, look out here. Oh, into the guardrail. Oh man. Antonio hurt. Oh my god. That was a straight up foot in the mouth. Jesus. Jesus Christ, man. My goodness. Whoa! Where did he come from? Excuse me. And now the Lucha Force. Just beating him down with the stomp. Oh. Santos. Santos got, Santos got a little too emotional there. He hit Blanca. It's okay. It's okay. At first of the ring post win, Antonio Hernandez. This is honestly what he gets. He deserves this. Turning his back on his brethren. On his fellow luchadors. The man even took off his mask. Not even wearing a mask anymore. Uh-oh. Espiga Blanca waits for Hernandez to turn around so he can get the jump on him with a surprise attack. He's a cat. He's gonna pounce. He's gonna spread his wings and fly. Oh, 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 he got caught. He got caught. Oh, but Santos right in there to break it up. Right in there to save the day. That's what a tag team partner does. You dig what I'm saying? Oh, look out here. Santos was going for something, but Antonio Hernandez got the jump on him. He dodged it and Irish whipped him in the corner. Oh, so quick is Hernandez for a man. His size. Oh, my goodness gracious. The velocity he came in with that clothesline was incredible. And it may be over for the Lucha Force here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, sky high. Dropping that man on his spine. Oh, my goodness gracious. I don't think the Lucha Force has anything left after this. Oh, that was a TKO on the ground, on the floor. Oh. Yeah. He loves them big boots, man. Hernandez very upset after he lost his championship match against Adam Cole for the IC title. And he's taking his anger and frustration out on the luchadors even more. On their own show, too. On Sky High. I think Hernandez is done. Oh! Oh, he saw Santos coming. He tried. Santos tried, but to no avail. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Absolutely disgusting. 